about her. Now, police have made an arrest in connection with a hate crime in Revere. Swastikas were spray painted on cars and the words white power were spray painted on a road. NBC 10's Malcolm Johnson joins us live from Revere now. And Malcolm, I guess police didn't have to go far to find the suspects. Not far at all, JC. The suspect only lives but two miles away from the department here. We're told that the victim involved is relieved that an arrest has been made. But neighbors of the suspect, they don't believe that he's responsible. Several swastikas painted on this car. White power graffitied on the ground next to it. Revere police have arrested 38-year-old Jason Pagliuca in connection with the June 11th incident on Lantern Road. It makes me feel sad because, like, I really want to understand what type of things are going through their head. You know, what makes you feel this way? What makes you, you know, just come out and just automatically feel like we don't matter? Mia Allen lives in the neighborhood. People just need to open their eyes more and realize what, you know, what's going on. And it's not just all about them realize more that this world needs to come together. The Massachusetts Council on American Islamic Relations represents the woman targeted. Their civil rights director says of the woman, she greatly appreciates the investigation that was done by the Revere police that led to an arrest, as well as the outpouring of support she has received from the community and even from total strangers. As a Muslim and as a Moroccan, you've never had any race issues with this young man? Never, ever. Never, ever. He's very really nice. He's always friendly. He loves my kids. I have two kids. He, he loves them. Neighbors with various backgrounds are skeptical the man charged in connection with the crime is responsible for it. He doesn't ever have any malice for anybody. He's always been, lived, I've lived here 45 years and he's never hurt anybody. He's never been a menace in the neighborhood. He's never been a problem. I've known him since he was born. Now, Revere police say the recovered evidence inside of the suspect's home, evidence that was directly related to this case that led to his arrest. We're live tonight reporting in Revere. I'm Malcolm Johnson, NBC 10 Boston.